What's up everybody, I'm Seasons from Warbits.com. In my previous tutorial, I made a brief description of the features of the FPC. With this tutorial, I will end the FPC tutorial series. In this case, I am going to show you how to control your FPC, all the pads and the knobs using an external MIDI device. It could be a MPC, your MIDI controller, or any kind of device that is able to send MIDI data to FL Studio. I'm also going to show you how to link it to your computer keyboard. So let's go. Okay, so first of all, we will check if our MIDI controller is working correctly. We go to our MIDI settings and make sure it's on. In my case, I have a Kiwi 49 from M Audio. Once we check this, we press any key in our keyboard and see if there is MIDI input in FL Studio, it is working correctly. So now it's time to link everything. So we go and open our FPC. I recommend you to add some sounds to the pad to keep track of what you are doing. In this case, I already have some sounds in here. So the first step is to click the pad that you want to control with your MIDI controller. In this case, I'm going to start with this, with the first one. Then you go to MIDI note, you click it, and a window will show up. Then you go to learn and click it. When you click learn, what FL Studio or the FPC does is to wait for you to press a key in your MIDI device, and then it will set it to the pad or whatever you link it to. So in this case, I am pressing a middle C, as you can see here it is already linked so we move to the next one the same process we click the pad then we go to to the note here we click it and we go to learn and repeat the same process here you can do it with if in the cases you have a MIDI keyboard you can link only the white keys or only the black keys or a combination of both so you can do whatever you want in any order so you complete the process until you finish everything now once you have finished done this be careful not to close your project because if you do that FL Studio will forget every link that you made once you finish just go here and go to save layout once you click that a window will show up where you can save your layout, all the configuration you set up for the FPC. And the next time you open a FLP, it will be there for you to use it. So I'm, I'm going to open this again. This is not routed. It forgot all the configuration, but I just go here, go to the layout section, and you can see that it is listed in there. So if you want to link the pads to your computer keyboard it's the same process you click the pad then you go to note layout then you go to learn click, uh, you press a key of your keyboard and it will be linked automatically just make sure this button is on because this is the one that enables your PC to use the computer keyboard as a MIDI controller now I am going to show you how to link these param parameters in here, the knobs. So we have two options in here, link to controller or override generic link. Both do the same. Both link a, pa a parameter in your FL Studio to your MIDI controller. The difference is that the first one will forget the link after FL Studio is closed, while override generic link will remember it in every project you open. So you just have to click the one that you want and move a knob in your MIDI controller and it will automatically link it up. So as you can see here, it was linked to a knob in my MIDI controller. In this case, I am using the mod wheel. If we want to delete that link, we just go to the knob that we link to, we click it, we hit reset, and then we click accept. And now it won't, it won't be linked, and we can use it for 
another knob. So if we use override generic link, it's the same thing. So that's basically all for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Stay tuned for more tutorials. And see you on the next one.